up, you horror nerds. I am so excited to show you what is right here. Now, there's going to be a bit of a story, so follow along with this photo. So I purchased this from CPA Authentics. Um, they were doing a Roger L. Jackson signing. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he voices Ghostface in the Scream franchise. Um, and so when I saw that, I already have a Roger L. Jackson, but when I wanted, what I wanted from him was him to personalize it, as well as write the quote that I wanted, and which was pretty freaking cool that they were offering this. So here we go. So it is uh, Beckett certified. It is an eight by 10 and here we go, ba bam. So the story behind this about, it was actually like frustrating at the time. So basically um, I was in the process of moving and um, I updated my address with them and it was supposed to be sent to this, like my current home address right now. And it ended up being sent by accident to my previous address. And I didn't know how to get it out of the mailbox because I didn't have any mail keys, et cetera, et cetera. So like the mail lady uh, from Canada Post, like I was bouncing back and forth, like on the phone and saying, hey, Kay, like, you know, it's lost. Can you guys go get it? And then they were telling me a whole bunch of stuff saying, oh, um, there's nothing we can do. It's kind of just like lost, blah, blah, blah. And I was like really upset and frustrated but then CPA, great company by the way, handled it professionally. They're like, you know, we can offer you a full refund, a partial refund, or, and then when we see him in person, we'll get him to uh, sign a photo for you and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I didn't really want to settle for that because I really originally wanted what I wanted in the first place, like like this line right here. Um, and so basically what happened was they're like, well, you, you should call the Canada Post Depot. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good thing. And so I spoke to a lady and this girl, like, I'm not even joking you went above and beyond and she literally got it got one of her guys to get it out of the mailbox brought it to her and she actually hand delivered that shit to me in person and I wanted to give her a hug but I couldn't because like of COVID and all but like literally the fact that that girl like did that and like is fucking insane that's top-notch customer service skills if you ask me that's fucking kudos to her but here we go so I it's safe and sound now so this is an 8x10 photo um I like this photo specifically because again like you know he's got the blood on his face and stuff like that I have no idea who he killed um and it's cool that uh, Roger L. Jackson like signed it it's in the correct paint pen that I wanted because I wanted to like be red for blood and it says to Alicia and then this is the uh quote that he says I think it was in Scream 4 where he goes tell Sydney heads are gonna roll tonight um and I believe that's when he was um standing with uh, Kirby in his ear or whatever like that on the phone and um, there like a whole bunch of it was going on right there was like a bloodbath but yeah it's pretty cool how he signs it Roger L. Jackson and he writes ghost face it's pretty fucking cool but yeah so I love CPA Authentics they pull out some fire signings as well like stuff that you wouldn't even think about or like little people like extras or like little people who had like little parts in like films and they actually like you know get these cool people to like you know sign and stuff like that which is really wild and cool I really fucking love them but yeah so I, I love uh, Chris and Pip and what they do they're really nice people and stuff like that but yeah so stay tuned uh there is a uh, Scream 5 I'm pretty sure this is the last film you guys Scream 5 will be coming out um January 14th 2022 unfortunately I won't be able to see it in theaters because I am not vaxxed but I, I'm sure I will find a way to get it and see it somehow <laughs> but yeah so I'm pretty freaking pumped about it and a fun fact about that I don't even think that they were going to do a Scream 5 um because they needed the original cast members as well as Nev, Nev Campbell to um agree to the contract or something like that or to read the script because they said that like she didn't want to put herself into a film that wasn't going to be I guess you could say successful enough but apparently from what she read it was like up to her standards or whatever and I, I don't know who the writer or the director is is carrying past Wes Craven but I'm sure he would be proud because it looks insane and the fact that they got the original people like Deputy Dewey um, played by David Arquette and Nev Campbell for Sidney Prescott and obviously Gail Weathers played by Courtney Cox they're getting the original people right but you know who knows what's gonna happen I really fingers crossed that you know Sydney Prescott does not die because that would be really fucking tragic if you ask me because she's like a badass like survivor but yeah so leave a like leave a comment and uh tell me in the comment section which one is your favorite screen movie and are you guys pumped for Scream 5 ciao for now